As an e-commerce owner, the last thing you want is to have your customers wait. And not just for shipping, I'm talking about waiting for your website to load. So Rocketeers, let's get that fixed for you in today's video. Although you may think PageSpeed is something you can brush off, let's look into this study conducted by HubSpot. So there are a handful of statistics in this blog post, but here is the number one that I wanna share with you. That is, website conversion rates drop by an average of 4.42% with each additional second of load time between zero and five seconds. So yeah, maybe PageSpeed does matter after all. Now, there are a lot more technicalities we could get into with how site speed can affect conversions, but I think after hearing that example, you probably want to hear these tips and get this fixed. So here are 11 tips to speed up your WooCommerce store on your WordPress website. Tip number one is to choose a good hosting provider. With selling on WooCommerce, your store is made up of images, text, videos, and online payment processors. And when it comes to putting in your credit card details, if the user experiences a slow website, they might not feel so secure. Now with hosting, there are three main considerations for hosting. How fast is the hosting? What customer service do they provide and are they secure? Now, there's a whole laundry list of things you want to look for, so I'm going to include the screenshots from the article we wrote so that way I don't take up the next 20 minutes of your life reading off these bullet points. Tip number two is to use HTTP2. Try saying that phrase 10 times over. Now, HTTP2 has the potential to increase your page speed by enabling browsers to process multiple requests over a single connection simultaneously. Before using this, your browser had to go back and fetch every single resource, but now this process happens all at once. And if this all sounds like gibberish to you and you just wanna speed up your website, here is a good photo that explains the difference that this makes. Tip number three is to use a cache plugin. Caching improves the performance by reducing time-consuming processes like retrieving all stored information or generating new copies for each visitor requesting content. Now, if you're looking for the best caching plugin for your WooCommerce store, this is where we come in. Our plugin, WP Rocket, has all the must-have features and it works great with WooCommerce. We're even recommended on their website. Now, if you do choose to use a different plugin, just make sure to exclude the cart, my account, and checkout pages from being cached. Tip number four is to pick a fast WooCommerce theme. As you know, speed is key to increasing conversions and making you more money. Now, before this video, you may only have looked at themes for their aesthetic purposes, but these themes can make or break your site with their performance. Now, to save you any more of a search or a headache, we looked at the top 10 fastest themes and we broke it down to our top four best. These are Bloxy, the Page Builder Framework, Neve and Astra. Tip number five is to reduce JavaScript execution time. JavaScript that takes too long to execute will slow down your performance. With Lighthouse, you will get a warning if the execution takes longer than two seconds. And if it exceeds 3.5 seconds, you will get a red flag with a message that looks like this. Now, to reduce that JavaScript execution time, the trusted platform WebDev shares these three tips. Minify and compress your code, remove unused JavaScript, and reduce network trips by caching your code. Now, if what I just said sounds like a headache and you just want your store to run faster, our plugin WP Rocket can do all of those things for you with just a few clicks. Tip number six is to optimize your product photos. Your product photos are at the top of the list of importance. Especially with shopping online, photos are how visitors are making their decisions whether to buy or not. But there needs to be a balance. Having a high quality photo is great, but what if it takes forever to load? So what you need to do is find a way to optimize the file size without compromising too much of that photo quality. Now, there are two ways you can go about the process of image optimization. First is manual, like using tools such as Photoshop, but this software is usually quite expensive and it comes with a large learning curve. Second is with automatic tools like Imagify, EWW Optimizer, TinyPNG, or TinyJPEG. Now, Imagify is made by the same team behind WP Rocket, and such as WP Rocket, the plugin is super easy to use. Tip number seven is CSS optimization. With optimizing your CSS, this can be done in two ways. First is removing unused CSS, which will reduce the page size and reduce HTTP requests for better performance. Second is to eliminate render blocking CSS on your website for a faster perceived load time. 
Now, you could try to spend all your time figuring out how to do these things, but we imagine there's more important tasks for you to handle. Luckily for you, WP Rocket offers you the solutions for these options. And the best part is, all it takes is the click of a few checkboxes to do it. Tip number eight is to lazy load images and videos. Lazy loading is a strategy to identify the non-blocking or non-critical resources and load these only when needed. So what happens is the content visible above the fold is displayed in priority, but lazy loading delays the rendering of the content below the fold. This optimization technique allows displaying first the images being viewed by the users. Google itself recommends using lazy loading to defer off-screen images. Now, to apply lazy loading script onto your images and your videos, you can manually use these codes. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, luckily for you, WP Rocket has the lazy load option that you can just once again check on. Tip number nine is code optimization. With creating code, developers tend to use spacing, comments, and well-named variables to keep it easy to follow. With you as the business owner, this becomes problematic because it takes up more space, which can be detrimental during loading times when every single millisecond counts. Now, there are two ways that you can compress these files and minify your code. The first is manually, but you need to be careful. If you use one of these popular tools, only deleting just one character in the code can break your site. Second is you can do it automatically, where a plugin like ours, WP Rocket, can minify your CSS and JS in just a few clicks. Tip number 10 is to use a CDN to deliver static resources. Now, a CDN is useful to quickly deliver your content across a network of servers all around the world. Say you have visitors in Hong Kong and you have visitors in Florida no matter the location, they will have a fast connection to your site. Now, an out-of-the-box solution is to use Rocket CDN as it is fully integrated with WP Rocket. But if you have your own CDN, you can also add it to WP Rocket as well. Tip number 11 is database optimization. This tip will not impact your speed that much, but it's still recommended that you will want to keep your database clean and optimized. And remember, this video is about taking every advantage to speed up your WooCommerce store on your WordPress website. Usually you can run this optimized manually or from your PHP MyAdmin panel. But again, if you prefer to stay in your WordPress dashboard and only use one performance plugin, we suggest you use the WP Rocket database optimization option. Now, hopefully after leaving this video, you will have some peace of mind that your store will not be losing out on money after looking into these fixes to speed up your site. As always, have a good day and goodbye.